Hey guys, so this video is all sorts of things. It's like a mix of like three things, so sit down. In honor of Outer Banks season three coming out, by the time you guys see this in like three days, I'm gonna tell you guys how to live the Pogue life. It's <laughs> so embarrassing to say. I think we all have the same goals when it comes to like teenage life and like our social life and stuff like that. So this is gonna be helping me. Oh, I hate this shirt. I just don't dig this bralette. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. No fit. These pants are like too short. Like, do you guys see that? But then I have to roll them because they're too big on my waist. But then they're like, too, like they're literally too like there. First of all, from the outside, my life seems like it's all like sunshine and rainbows. Like I'm always having fun, like this and all that, you know. And like obviously it's not that because that's just what I put on the internet. So like obviously I have my own struggles and all that. But honestly, I couldn't ask for a better life. But nobody's life is perfect because nobody is perfect. So I've changed three times in this video. It's been like two minutes. Yeah. Anyways, point being of this video. How to achieve like your dream high school experience or just your dream life in general because I think we all just want to have fun like rather that be like in different ways like some people just enjoy like being alone and like that type of stuff but then others like want to go out and have fun and like I have fun but I have fun in like good ways like I'm not out partying and drinking and all that sorts of stuff but if you do you do you but like this is how to achieve it without having to do all that and without having to fall into peer pressure I'm currently editing this video and I just wanted to pop in and say that there's different versions of fun for everybody and also beach makeup literally watch this whole video to see how I did this because holy glow but anyways so everybody has a different version of fun let me know what yours guys is just comment down below because all I can think of right now is either like you're spontaneous or you like to literally just chill with your best friend in a room don't even have to talk to each other like you can literally be like reading two separate books and you're just sitting next to each other which I love that too like it really just depends on the day for me but right now like I'm still on like yesterday and I'm just like oh my god that was so much fun and then now I'm like let's be spontaneous but like I know I'm not like I'm literally gonna just sit here all day and it's a Sunday so I'm not gonna do anything but yeah I was just trying to elaborate, sorry. <laughs> and while I'm talking about this, I'm also going to be doing my beach makeup. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I'm so excited for season three of Outer Banks, but at the same time, I know it's gonna literally like kill me because then I'm gonna wanna go out and do all those things and live that like free life. Like you have no worries in the world. Like you just are living with all your friends and like doing whatever, you know? And obviously that's not like realistic and we can have that life to a certain extent because the things that they were doing in that show like they're like getting chased by cops like they have warrants out for their arrest all that type of stuff but they still have like that pogue life it's like free like they're doing whatever they want like they have no parents like telling them what to do and that's literally the dream but that's not the case in real life <laughs> i know that like once that comes out i'm gonna want a friend group with guys and girls and i'm gonna want to like go out and do all like this fun just free stuff like not even want to be on my phone just go out and be free which is kind of like unrealistic because i still have to go to school every single day and like i don't have that friend group at the moment but like, i know i'm gonna be like searching for that and like wanting that so we all know it's happening and i'm preparing myself and i already know it's gonna be like torture for me because then i like I get like super obsessed with stuff like that. Like I get obsessed with lifestyles and then like I want that lifestyle and I know it's not achievable. So then it makes me like sad that it's not achievable. So here I am to tell you how to achieve it without being sad about not being able to achieve it. <laughs> All right, back to the makeup. Um, I just mixed my Junk Elephant drops with my Glotion drops. This is a dupe for the Junk Elephant, but I like to mix them. I honestly would prefer this one 100%, but my shade is not this shade like i need the darker one but i bought this one and i haven't bought in the darker one yet so i mix them both together and oh my gosh story time this is the most chaotic video sorry guys but story time literally last night i was at a bonfire and it was for like one of my friend's birthdays and we were doing cheer stunts and tell me why riley went to like jump up so i could like catch her and she kneed me in the face and oh my god god it hurts so bad right now okay i can breathe but like right here like does it look fat i thought it would like shrink it because it literally like thought and it, oh my gosh it hurts so bad it started bleeding like not like dripping blood but like i could like like i don't know it was blood there but like oh my gosh it hurts so bad 
Anyways, that was a nice little story time. Like yesterday was like life. Like every single day is not gonna be like that. And like once I get on like that high of like, that was so, so much fun. Like I wanna keep going with it and it's just not realistic. So we need to like make it realistic. And while I'm telling you guys how to do this, I'm figuring it out myself. So it's a journey. It doesn't matter where you live. Like of course, like you'll see me and like I live in Florida and I'm so happy that I do because I could not imagine living anywhere else. So like I have like the beach with me and like I have all that stuff. But, like, if you live in, like, Missouri or Kansas or Mississippi, like, I don't think they have beaches. So, you make it different. Like, honestly, if I lived in any one of those states that doesn't have a beach, I would make life even more fun just without a beach. Because, like, the beach is fun, yes. But having, like, mountains... Guys, don't make fun of me. Isn't Kansas in Missouri? And also... Do you guys even have mountains? Because to me, like, everywhere but Florida has mountains. Like, that's how my brain works, and I don't know if I'm right or not. So don't come at me if I said mountains and Missouri's and Kansas and, like, all those places don't even have mountains. I don't know. So don't come at me. If you don't, then I actually don't know what you were going to do. But let me know your way of having fun if you live in those states because I might come visit. Maybe. And, like, woods, and you can go hike and go camping with your friends. Like, I feel like that's equally as... Fun. And you have like equal opportunities you just have to like put your mindset on like oh i can't go to the beach but i can go in the woods and well i don't think your parents will let you go in the woods and like camp but like you can just go in the woods and like set up hammocks and make a little fire and just like hang out there and like you don't have to sleep there because it's like kind of dangerous but you can just go hang out in the woods and you know like don't have to do bad stuff but like you can just hang out there and have fun because like, i feel like that would be really fun like, if I live somewhere like that, I use a Charlotte Tilbury as my, like, I don't even know what I use it for. I just use it. That's pretty much the reason for it. Um, concealer is next to cover up all of my blemishes. But anyways, back to the story. I think this video is going to just go in, like, circles, and by the end of it, you're not going to get anything from it. But I hope you just enjoy hearing me talk. So basically, point being make fun out of what you have because obviously if you don't live near the beach complaining about not living near the beach isn't gonna get you a beach closer to you you just gotta make do with what you have so figure out things to do like if you live by a mountain go climb up go watch sunset from the mountain which i think is probably even prettier than seeing it at the beach but it's probably because like i live by the beach and i see it all the time but like seeing the sunset from up in the mountains are you kidding that's so cute you can have like a picnic in the mountains you can have so much fun in the mountains and i know that like mountains have like creeks and stuff so like you can swim in a creek um i don't know if that's safe or not but you can figure it out there's just there's fun everywhere you just have to be fun and be like willing to have fun because even here in florida like yeah we'll go to the beach but if you're a boring person and like it can be boring if you make it boring but if you make it fun it could be super fun so it's really just about perspective and like making the best out of situations because you're obviously just not going to just pick up and move to the beach. Like everybody has different lives. Your parents aren't just going to pick you up and be like, oh yeah, we're moving to the beach. And if you do, then you're super lucky. But like, you know, it's just not realistic. So just make fun with what you have. But also like, I know that like strict parents are a thing to those who have strict parents. I'm sorry for you because my mom's like strict because she cares about me but it's not like strict to the point where like i'm literally like not allowed to do anything but she definitely is really like you know like tight with me like she knows where i am at all times like all those things but she lets me also like have a life so like for that i'm really appreciative but for you guys with strict parents well before i get into that um i'm using the rare beauty contour to make me look snatched when i go to the beach this is not every single time i go to the beach when it's summer and i'm at the beach more consistently and like I'm tan. I literally, this routine goes from like 15 steps to two. Like bronzing jobs and blush. And that's it. But since it's school season and I am not at the beach all the time, I just don't have that color and I don't have the confidence that the sun gives me. So for now, I have like a 15 step routine. If you have strict parents, like, I know that, like, some parents are truly just, like, super strict and it's, like, there's no cracking into them, but honestly, it's all about building trust because my mom, if I didn't have trust with her, she would probably be one of the strictest human beings ever. Like, she is definitely strict, but it's the fact that we have trust with each other and, like, I tell her everything 
that makes it so I can like go out and have fun and like she doesn't have to completely like worry about me but it's definitely about building trust like just build trust with your parents and like start it slow like you're obviously not gonna just go out and do everything you want to do in like one day of like just communicating so just like take it slow and like tell them about all your drama even well if you're like in good drama if you're like like that and then like i don't know what you're supposed to do about that i only have advice on if you're like innocent so if you're bad then just stop being bad and um then you can build trust with your parents <laughs> but anyways um just tell them about like everything that's going on like keep them in the loop so they have like some understanding of your life because they're not gonna just throw you out there if they have no idea what like you're up to like what type of person you are with your friends like like who your friends are I kind of have to like keep them in the loop because like i wouldn't trust you either obviously we're not gonna live the pogue life where our parents just let us roam free and pretend like they don't even exist well don't be like parents like they're not there but like and neither are uh, whatever anyways we can still have our fun just not in the pogue way but anyways i used the little bronzer and now i'm using the rare beauty i'm using the show i'm using the shade encourage and we're gonna just blend this in with a brush this gives me the rosiness that i don't naturally get from the sun unless i stay out and cook for like three days so this just gives me a little bit of rosiness i hope you guys are understanding what i'm saying because honestly i feel like i'm just going in circles with what i'm saying and i don't completely understand <laughs> what i'm even trying to say but i hope you understand like just build trust with your parents and take it slow because i know some parents are like oh if you go out one day you can't go out the next and my mom was like that like it was like one day a weekend that i would be able to go out when i was like in middle school and stuff like that but slowly like it's just like i wouldn't choose to go to every single occasion or like every single hangout and then like now like if i went out last night i went out all day yesterday like i left at 11 and i got home at 11 30 so like that was a super long day but i think if i asked her today she would let me I don't even know if she would, but, like, I also don't have school tomorrow, so I'll probably hang out with people tomorrow. So, like, it's really just, like, hopefully you guys don't have sweet parents, but if you do, take it slow and build trust with them so they know that when they let you go out into the world, they know that you're doing good things and you're making good choices. So, yeah, that's my advice. Just don't be stupid, because if you're stupid, then they're literally, like, I wouldn't trust you either. I want that, like, high school, not career, what's that called? I don't know like just like high school like but high school is not fun like i don't know who tricked us into thinking that this was like the shit it's not this shit sucks like i would much rather just not like who said this was fun i literally got pranked like high school musical was the death of us all because yes it's a bomb movie like it literally is amazing but it put our expectations up here like, that literally tricked us into thinking that high school is going to be the best four years of our life. And, and for some people, it is. But, like, I feel like for most of the people who it is the best four years of their life, it's because they're doing, like, the wrong things. And, like, they're going out and partying and drinking and all that stuff. And, like, yeah, like, when you're doing that and you have no responsibilities, that's fun. Like, you're on cloud nine. But, like, if you're not and, like, you're not doing that stuff every single weekend, it's kind of just, like, so repetitive. And it's just, like, why do I even have to do this? Like, why can't I just drop out? Which is the point of my next video, so stay tuned for next Wednesday to see why I want to drop out and if I will be doing so. Sometimes it just runs out and then I really have to like push it. It's like when you're on empty and you just need to get to the gas station. That's me half of the times I hang out with people. Like I just don't have the social battery for it, but I try my best and sometimes it works. Sometimes I'm on empty and stranded and I'm just sitting there, but... Sometimes it works, but recently, I don't know. I think I'm just really in my central era right now. Like, just me, myself, and I. But, anyways, I hope this kind of, like, made sense to you guys. <laughs> and this is my beach makeup. I'm putting on mascara right now. Yesterday, I went to the beach, and I did not put on mascara. And I didn't feel too ugly, so yay me. Why did the sun just now come out, guys? What the freak? That is my beach makeup. And if you guys are interested in any of the products, I think they should be linked in our Amazon storefront. So you guys can go check that out. It's very simple, very cute, very just beachy. It's a very good summer routine. But like, I feel like in summer, it's going to go from like all this to literally just like blush and my junk elephant drops and maybe mascara. So that is it if you guys like me just sitting down and talking and making no sense i can also do that for you guys but more of the story 
pretty much what I'm trying to say is don't take life too seriously and don't like punish yourself or like keep yourself from having fun with what you have just because you want to live another life. Like obviously if that life is not yours, why stress about it and waste your own time? Because time is precious. Like time is running out. You don't have forever. So don't like sit in bed all day wishing you had another life when you have a life and you can make fun of it. And if you have no friends or something, there is so many people in this world. If you think there's no more people in your small little hometown, there's more people. Try your best to get out there and meet new people. And even if it's like online friends, like we're in a society where you can literally be best friends with somebody who lives across the world from you. So if it is an online best friend, like you can have that little over the phone relationship. That's fun too. But just make friends, meet people and live life like it's literally your last day on earth like you literally don't know and just don't be too serious about anything because you might be stressing about something today and then tomorrow it's a completely different issue and you don't even remember what happened yesterday so just like don't take it too seriously because there's always gonna be something to stress about but if you make that your whole life then that's gonna be your whole life so just live chill live happy and have fun i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did give it a big thumbs up this is literally terrible but Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. If you don't, don't let me know. Just don't come back then.